What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Randomized Soul Link Nuzlocke with Josh aka Real American Studios. Squeak, 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 squeak. Alright. And in the last episode it kind of sucked. We got a bunch of encounters. None of them were usable. But we're now on the SSN so we're going to do stuff here. Um, Josh, you're going to have to tell me what to do on this boat, because I really don't know. Alright, so there's a lot of trainers and hidden items on here, so basically just explore the boat. But uh, ultimately, the goal is to defeat our rival and get cut. Alright. There's an item right here. Let's see what this and is. And by the way, the, the, second, uh, the second room on the left actually heals your minds. So if you need to heal, you don't have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Alright. A Shoal Salt. Pure Salt. I don't know what that does. It's extremely salty. Wait, where'd you find a Shoal Salt at? And I went downstairs and it's in one of the rooms. Oh, I was battling a trainer. I'm battling a sailor now. He has an Arbok. You insolent e pup. How every dare time, you barge in. Every time I put my bay leaf in front, it always they always have something that's super effective against me. Makes sense, makes sense. I wanna get involved. Sludge bomb. I'm way over. I would like an Arbok though, that's pretty cool. Way over level. Oh, it's gonna endure my wing attack. What do you like better, Arbok or Surviper? Um, Arbok used to be one of my favorite mods, believe it or not, so I gotta go with Arbok. But they're both pretty cool. Hmm, okay. That I have an executor and a psychic and grass, so Beth wouldn't be good. Greta wouldn't be good because if it has a psychic attack, I really don't have much for this. I'll just put in Mega Man. No, 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 I need it to evolve in no. Meganium, so it'll make sense. No, it's an executor, not executor, my bad. And it has drought, which is he not loves good. Loves Pokemon. Yeah. Do I love Pokemon? Oh, this actually Pokemon? helps because I have Synthesis, so I can I can uh, heal up if I need to. Withdraw? You're gonna withdraw me? I'm just gonna wing attack you and kill you. Bye. And he was reflect. My Gligar is at level 32. That's uh, pretty high. Mind. All my mons are over a level 30. Man, if it was only Gen 4, it could evolve in a few levels, probably. Yes, and I could have a Gliscor, and Gliscor is a really cool Pokemon. It is. It's like a giant bat, and it's really cool looking. That, yeah, Wait. that's pretty much what it is. Okay, Mightyena. Is Mightyena technically a dog or, a, or like a hyena? I'd say... Oh. I always thought more like a wolf, but well, I, 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 I was, could work definitely. I was battling a Persian, so it's like a wolf versus Matang. like a tiger. Interesting. Um, oh, that crit though. Let's mean, go cookie types. Wait, <laughs> I was battling God Mike. So there's like. Ooh, much left. So there's like what, 16, 17 types. And we still only have three used Gligard, Yes, Gligar can learn much left. Isn't that the one that lowers accuracy? Yeah, and it's a stab move because it's uh, ground. That's pretty good. So, yes, it is indeed. It has good. like what, 20 power? Yeah, I mean, it's not the most powerful move, but it does lower accuracy. So the fact that it always lowers accuracy is very valuable. Alright, let me go down. Find I mean, it's item. like you're using sand attack, but you can still do damage. Found a blue shard. I forgot that there was trout. And I'm using water gun. 
The randomized build has really changed the game up. Definitely. We need to do like an extremely randomized one sometime with like um, just base stats, abilities, types, evolutions. Maybe after we go through all the games, we can go back and go through them extreme randomized. That would be a, a freaking flying tile every time I put her out first. Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy. Or hey, crazy. I want to I want to do one where there you have a random evolution evolution every level. Wait, well, can can you do that? I think you have to get a mod for it. Cause I don't think I don't think it's an option with the just the regular randomizer. Yeah, that that sounds like a mod, even, but I mean that actually sounds really interesting. I've seen some uh, playthroughs of it. It's pretty good. I'm gonna have to check that out. It's probably not too hard to install. I'm gonna check that out. Ra like, what's it called? Just random evolutions every level? I don't know. I've never looked up like the mod or anything. Well, I'm talking about like just like if I want to look up some videos of it. Um, yeah, just something like that. Pokemon, but they evolve at every level. This guy said, "You insolent pup! You dare to barge in." Exactly. And he has a flappy. Exactly my thoughts. Alright, I'm speeding up a little bit. What the heck? How dare you, Josh. Alright, just for one battle. You know I can't speed up. Oh, man. I I'll refrain. I would Even if I could, sandwich. but I don't want to freeze my game. Lose all this progress I've made. Yeah, that's very true. Very true indeed. Nightshade. A marsh top. That's actually perfect for Mega Man. Poison gas. We are very over leveled. Um, yeah. Because we so. don't, we keep not getting usable encounters, so we just have to level up these three. What level are your mods at? They are 27, 27, 26. Man. See, so you, I, mine. So where'd you say I can heal? The second door, like from the entrance, the second door to the right. They heal you every time. Frick. Yeah, there's a lot of trainers. And there's two identical looking old men in here. In Astravius doesn't evolve in this, right? This Magius is like Gen 4, isn't it? Yeah. I re actually really like this Magius. It's one of my favorite ghost types. Ahoy there, are you seasick? No, I'm actually not. The boat's not even moving, is it? I know, that's not, I just blew that's the bonus question. Quilava. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, people talk. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get wrecked, Pupitar. And this Quilava has Sandstorm. Sandstream ability. So that's Did you fun. Know? Imagine if you got a non ground rock or steel type with that sandstream. That would be... That would not be ideal. Oh, you said a non. Yeah. 
I was about to say there's a lot of them like that. I'm getting a lot of money though. That dude gave me $1,300. Heal my balls. Waterstone. Scope lens. Does that raise critical hits? Yes. Well, then I'm giving that to... So I just walk into the room, talk to the girl, and she's like, You look tired. Would you like to rest? That's kind of sus. I mean, I would like to rest, though. Found an Ultra Ball. If I find a Master Ball sometime, I'm going to freak out. Find that master. Ball. Imagine if you would have found a master ball and you could have got that Groudon. Yo, that Groudon would have been powerful. You, we would have, you would have just won the run. Not necessarily. Well, I have I've to win too. People, so. I've seen people lose Groudons to fight. What if we, things. what if we got a Groudon and a Kyogre encounter? That'd be insane. Oh, freak. Whoa, I can't be switched out. Porygon. And the poison, let's go. And it has shed skin, uh, are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna wait on you for a little while. That's why you don't need to speed up. I know, but I can't help it. You have these a problem. These battles are just so tedious. They are. Especially since we're over leveled. Yes, indeed. But. I don't know, being over level is not a bad thing. That means we should be able to one shot most of these. Well, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm like 11 levels above this guy, though. That's a bit too much. I'm mm -hmm. fine with being like 2 or 3, but 11 is too much. Yeah, but what, what can we do? Nothing, Nothing now. I got a revive, which is useless. Useless. The good thing about Nuzlocke is you don't have to spend money on revives. That is a pretty good thing. Da 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 Which one is your favorite of the Hitmons? Uh, I like Hitmon Lee. I like all of them. But my favorite is probably Hitmon Top. But it's so hard to get because it's so rare. What does Hitmon Top based off of? I don't know. Because I, I know Hitmon Lee is uh, Bruce Lee, Hitmon Chan is Jackie Chan. Like Hitmon Top is based off of Beyblade, I guess. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he was made before Beyblade was. Yeah. Have you ever played Beyblade? Oh yeah, I used to have a bunch of them. Uh. I've we've I watched, got a bunch of them. I watched around. the show. I wa I played with them, collected them. I was big into it. it the, the show was actually pretty good. Yeah, you know, it, for it like was. a kid show. Uh, were you ever into Bakugan? Oh yeah, big time. Or, yeah, Bakugan, Pokemon, please. Bakugan, and Beyblade. Those are like my big stuff. I was never into Yu-Gi-Oh though. Hey, Yu-Gi-Oh's the one that, I'm still kind of into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, I'll still watch the anime every now and then. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and I still duel with the cards against my brother occasionally. It's fun. I never collect them. I collect the Pokemon cards. And collect the Beyblades and Bakugan. Yeah, I'm kind of a nerd. But it's okay to be a nerd. And Bakugan's a good show, too. I got Revenge. See, I, I, I've got a, a Reaper around here somewhere that I used to use all the time in Bakugan and wreck people with. Let's see if anybody can earn revenge. 
Um, Greta and Beth can both earn it. Revenge is like, isn't that best when, uh, it's best isn't that for, best when, yeah, it's good for slow Pokemon. So that'd actually be pretty good on slow bro. And Swalot really, they're both slow. I'm thinking of frustration every time. I was thinking revenge was the one that was like, uh, good for if your Pokemon doesn't like you. I was thinking um, of frustration. Maybe. Let's do that as an Absol. Where are you at in here? I think I'm in the bottom. At like the last oh. room fighting people. Oh. I actually got an Absol. I actually recorded a while ago, like one episode of Pokemon Diamond Randomized Nuzlocke, but I decided not to do it, so I just had that one episode recorded, and I got an Absol in it. It was pretty cool. Oh, nice. Alright, so you recorded it for the series, but like, you decided not to do the series. Yeah. I, I was gonna do that, then I, then I wanted to do that, um, the Pokemon Sword. Nuzlocke, then I decided not to do that after a couple episodes. De oh, really? neither, neither of them really felt uh, super enjoyable, honestly. Because sword, cause sword and Shield is fun like the first playthrough, but I, but it doesn't have much replayability for me. Well, it's, it's probably because you weren't, you're not able to randomize it. Like, I feel like the randomizer that as well. is what makes it really fun. Yeah. If I couldn't randomize these games, then I probably wouldn't do this because it makes it a lot more interesting. Well, like that's the, the thing. The about encounters are fun. The star getting the stars are fun. That's the thing about Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Ruby and Sapphire is I can still play through it and really enjoy it because it's my childhood. Yeah, I obviously like these older games better. Although I've never really played much of the GPA ones, but like Diamond and Pearl, Black and White. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, the, all the Gen Four and Five ones are good. I, so you were you were kind of late getting the Pokemon, uh, like yeah, Diamond and Pearl was my first game. Diamond was yeah, cause see a lot of kids at uh, my old school before I went to your school uh, is like a lot of them were out of Pokemon by the time by the time like we were like six or seven, and that's when I was really getting into Pokemon. So I was kind of behind everybody. Yeah. I literally replayed Pokemon Black like a couple months ago. Just no Nuzlocke, no randomization, nothing. Just played through the whole thing. It was fantastic. Yeah, like, I, it's like it's yeah. the ones that were your childhood. You really need to enjoy the most. But for real, you, you need to play through that game. It's fantastic. I, I love the animation. The sprites are the best out of any Pokemon game. Because it's not quite 3D. But they like move and they actually look almost 3D, but they're still sprites. So I honestly like it kind of better than the, the than like the full 3D today. And of course, I like it better than these games as well. So it's like right in the middle, perfect. Not too I new, mean, not I... too old. I took a nap before we recorded. All like right. Hour nap. Yeah, I haven't played. I haven't played through Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum in a while, though. Obviously, I'm gonna play the remakes when it comes out in right about two months now. Yeah, I was about to say you could you could do that. But that's that's kind of why. That. That's probably one reason why I didn't want to do the Diamond one. It's because I wanted to kind of have it more fresh when the remakes come out. Plus, I was watching that Diamond and Pearl Soul Link Nuzlocke a few weeks ago. Oh. Uh. And um, Arcanine. I've been watching a Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link, and it's been getting me really excited for our Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link after this one. Yeah, that'll probably be... Probably around Christmas or so, I'd say. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm, ac I'm actually really excited about it. 
Beth, don't flinch. And then, oh, like, this Arcanine has speed the... boost. Well, obviously, I don't know if, if you're doing the remakes. I'm sure you probably want to skip Diamond and Pearl. Beth, quit so flinching. After that, it could be Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, we could do Heart Gold and Soul Silver after this if you want, since this technically, since this is technically Gen One in a way, and that's technically Gen Two, even though it's four. Well, yeah, I'll just have to get it set up on the uh, computer and stuff. Yeah, it's not too hard. Well, my brother has to go through his old laptop, and that thing is slow, so it takes hours. But, uh, yeah. Plus, it'll probably be easier to, like, do a layout for it, because it, like, has the, uh, the dual screens, of course, DS. So the top and the bottom. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about that one, too. Plus, I haven't played through the entire Heart Gold Soul Silver in a very long time. Like, I've never I really can't. I really can't remember ever doing Aussie, but I'm pretty, I think I have. I haven't played a single second of it. That's heard your team. You've never played any Heart Gold Soul Silver? Uh -oh. Wow. That's you're kind of around the time when I got out of Pokemon. You're missing out. Probably the best thing about it is the po your leading party Pokemon follows you. Oh yeah, like that's in, true. In the overworld. Like I've I, obviously I've watched people play through it before. Yeah, it's a very good game. So do we get cut from the rival? Uh, no, we actually uh, we have to battle him, and we get cut from the ship captain. Okay. Are you ready to battle him? Uh, no. I I just talked to this old dude, and he was talking about cut. So. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah, you're definitely at the bottom. I'm fighting an artillery. We have to rub the ship captain's back to be seasick. Yeah, I remember watching that on a like a challenge kind of thing in this game. Do you know um, the YouTube channel Silf Spectre? I've never heard of him. He wow. does he does like weekly Pokemon challenges, like hardcore nose locks with like, and he'll do like um, just like mono type ones, like he'll do. A fire red hardcore nose lock with just water types or something like that. But he What's he called? Silk Spectre? Silph Spectre. S I L P H Spectre. That's all one word. He has like oh, okay. probably a hundred and thirty thousand subs or so. I'll have to check him out later. Uh, I really enjoy his stuff. Ooh, hardcore nose lock poison only. Bug only. Yeah, the bug only ones are obviously pretty difficult. I'm gonna have to watch that after this. I'm not even gonna battle all these trainers because I'm getting so overleveled. Okay, here's the rival. Bonjour. All right. Bonjour. <laughs> Alright, I'm fighting him. Alright, me too. Yes, a Charizard. Vulpix. He has a Charizard. Good thing I'm like 10 levels above him almost. I'm 14 levels above his first Pokemon. Yeah, see, this is a problem. But it's not really our fault because we keep getting unusable encounters, so we ha kind of have to overlevel. Exactly. This, level, this, this Charizard only knows Ember as a fire move. Yeah, that's the how, unfortunate thing about how Charizard. He, how embarrassing. He probably won't get flamethrower until like level 40. Or something. I love how he didn't even let me heal myself before the battle. There's that stupid Jinx again. It's psychic though. Guess I'll keep boom. that thin. Boom, boom, 
If it boosts me to sleep again. Okay, it missed. Let's go. Easy kill. He's got a growl on. Really? Yes. Thank God I'm at uh, level 33. This thing already has mud shot. Wow. Let's go. We put Jinx to sleep this time. Yeah. Screw you, Jinx. Now put me to sleep this time. That's how you do it. Let me get healed up one last time. And Articuno. He has a stacked team so far. Charizard and Arc and Articuno. I'm only level 16 though, that's embarrassing. Wait, he had an Articuno? Mm hmm. Wow. And Greta is popping off though. Absolutely popping off. And a slack off. Not a slacking, so that would be bad if it was a slacking. If we face a slacking in this game at some point that we're not a bunch of we're not really over leveled, then that's gonna be bad. It's just not gonna have true on. That thing, that thing's stat total is insane. Wait, Articuno? Did you not listen to anything I just said? No, I, I was on Facebook. I said if we face a slack off, a slacking in this game that we're not super over leveled, then then it's gonna be pretty bad. Oh, uh, did you battle a slacking? A slack off. Oh, noise, noise, noise. Alright, I'm rubbing the dude's back. <laughs> I'm getting all in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> no. Get in there, deep boy. No. Alright. Let's, uh. Yeah, you better be glad your girlfriend's not watching this episode. Let's save right here. She would have a serious talk with you. And that is going to be it for, is this the 10th episode already? And the 10th uh, the tenth episode yes, of the Fire Red and Leaf Green randomized Soul Link Nuzlocke. Um, we pretty much just battled trainers the whole time, didn't get any encounters. Also, I think I'm going to make a rule that we can have like an HM Pokemon that we can't use in battle. Yes. So we don't have to put, put HMs on our battling Pokemon. So we'll probably do that next episode. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to sub to Real American Studios as well as myself. Link to his channel should be in the description if I don't forget. Sometimes I do. Any last words, Josh? Wet peanuts. He's been thinking about that one for a while. Wet peanuts is the last words of the day. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.